All right, so fan shot today we did a fiber optic splice. So we're just going to do another quick one here. We're going to use this holder here with the 250 micron guide. We're going to get this set in here and set. Sorry for the discoloration. I was painting earlier today. We're going to clean this off. Now this is where this gets a little crazier. Hopefully you see this okay here. We're going to pinch it right here and we're going to take this coating off nice and clean. And you can kind of still see that there. Hopefully you can see that uh, black object. You can kind of see that there. We are going to give it a quick clean with some alcohol. This is where it kind of disappears. Give it a clean. You'll hear the squeak. Always two wipes. You can never quite be sure it's 100% clean with only one wipe. Never second guess yourself. So you can see that there kind of glistening a little bit as it catches the reflection. We're then going to cleave it using this cleaver. This is going to go through here. We're going to depress both sides. We're going to slide this in, making sure that our finger is not in front of where this fiber is going to come out on the other end. And it's got a little magnet that holds that in place. We're going to release both of those. These are going to put tension on this from either side. So we are going to put tension onto the side of there and give it a cut. And then we're going to hold this to release this here. And that is going to go in our sharps container. We'll set this aside here while I get rid of the sharps. Sticking it in our sharps container very carefully so that we don't lose it. We are then going to release this black button which will allow us to pull this out and you will see that that is been cleaned up. Very careful to not poke myself with this pretty much needle. We're then going to stick this into our fusion splicer and make sure it powers up. We can take this out of this guide block here now very carefully set that aside and we are going to get this set here now as we do this first one we are always going to come in and slide to this we're going to open up this block and we're going to slide in here and I'm going to show this a little bit closer in a second as I get this loaded carefully So, you will see here that we are, come on, focus, focus. We are, oh, I can't see it. There you go. The end of that fiber is between the electrode and that locking block. Now, get you back up here, and we're going to do the other end. Now, I'm just using a scrap piece here, so you'll notice the end is cut off. If this was really long, the second one I would probably put my protective strip on. Since this one is just a short chunk that we're just doing for a demo, I'm just using up some scrap pieces. Scrap pieces, I want to be careful of both ends so I don't jab myself. But we're simply going to repeat that same process again. We're going to put this in here making sure that it's going to be long enough that when we put this in here, the cutoff is going to be sticking out far enough that I can grab it. Close that up. We're going to pinch it so we don't pull it through by accident. And we are going to clean this. Take that off there. You'll see that. Two pumps and always two wipes. We always want to make sure they get a good squeak for the whole length, not just the tail end. And that's nice and clean. Then we are going to use our tool here again, and we are going to depress both, carefully sticking this in here, and making sure that our fingers are lots out of the way of that basically 
hypodermic needle sticking out the other end. We are going to put tension on it, cut it, and release to pull out. Again, sharps, always be courteous of the next person and get rid of those sharps. Okay, you can then take this out of here, keeping this nice and neat here. We then can remove this, and we are going to lay this in the other side. Now, if I was doing this for sure and wanted to use up good product, I'm just using up scrap pieces right now, I would make sure that my protective sleeve was on prior to this. I would not want to slide my protective heat shrink sleeve on now because this is clean and I want to keep that integrity of the connection. I am simply going to lay this in this block in the same manner as the first one, making sure that I'm not bumping anything or touching it in the wrong spot. And we are going to close this up right there. Now again, see if I can get a good picture of this in close. You can see here that I have both of those are either side of that electrode. So now if we take this, we can now close this up and let's see how we did and get rid of that light. Come on, focus. I'm gonna watch this. It's gonna bring both of those fibers in together. Give it a little air blast going to set those. It's inspecting it. That one looks a little crooked on the cut. It's aligning it. Welding. Ooh, and see that little dimple? I wonder what kind of loss we're going to get for that. Ooh, oh wow, look at that. That is excellent. Uh, 0.01 decibels loss. That's almost nothing. Almost nothing. That's about as close to as clean as you can get. Um, that's pretty awesome. Out of the two, two hour labs we just did with all the students, um, I think the best one we had was a 0.04 loss. So flip that up. This is a little heater element in here. Normally I would have a little piece of heat shrink on this cable. We'll flip both of these up. I like to grab this nice and level, move it straight up and catch it prior to Oh, I just put that in crooked. Come on, Kyle. Get that sitting in there nice and neat. Get that set. I would then, I know that that's in the center. I can then get my heat shrink set in exactly where I need it. And then I can close the other side and close the heater part, click it shut. And if I was actually running this, I would hit the heater button. Hit the heater button and yada, yada, yada. A few minutes later, it has heated the heat shrink, sealing it all up nice and tight, adding some rigidity to it as well, and protecting that splice from any external influence, hopefully. And actually, real quick, if you wanted to see that up nice and close, uh, let's see if we can actually get that sitting. We'll get that right in front of my ring here, and you can see that kind of... Ah, here, let's lay it right down on something with some better lighting. And if we look at that. Now, obviously, I'm sitting this on a very dirty machine. I would never set a clean piece of fiber that's open like this on a dirty surface. I'm just trying to show you. But that is itty, itty bitty. Just tiny. Pretty neat.